G. Edward Griffin was right. Um, probably about a year ago, I guess, uh, I got a video off of YouTube about um, G. Edward Griffin many years ago, and he was giving a speech on the thing of the creature from Jekyll Island. And he was talking about the creation of the Federal Reserve Bank with Paul Werberg and some of the other financiers. And he talked about this banking system and how that they came out with this scam and that they would, if they would get a dollar, they would say, okay, let's, we have a dollar that somebody deposited. Let's lend this thing out multiple times. And I just kind of thought, yeah, well, at the time I thought, well, a dollar wouldn't be worth as much back then and, or would be worth more, excuse me, back then in the 1960s or whenever it was that Griffin was speaking there. And I just kind of thought, but I thought, they wouldn't actually, you know, talk about a dollar. I mean, they're, the bankers aren't quite that greedy. If they get a dollar in, that they would just lend it out to a whole bunch of different people, right? Um, well, uh, we were at Salvation Army in the town of Holton, up here in northern Maine, and um, looking at the used book section. And my wife has this ability about her that she can, I can look at it. Well, thing of books like this on a shelf and just say, I didn't see anything worthwhile. She'll look at the exact same books in the exact same amount of time that I was looking and she'll say, Oh, look at that book. <laughs> and um, she saw this one. Uh, Marketing Financial Services she showed this in another video, but um, she's looking through this and she found something that proved G. Edward Griffin to be right. It's not that he was wrong and that later on we had to prove him right. It's just that I couldn't believe that they would actually be so greedy that they would say, if you get a dollar in, you should lend it out. I thought there's no way they wouldn't actually say this. And this is from the American Bankers Association. Okay. Right there. Let me show you the quote here. Okay. Again, we have the American Bankers Association right there. Page 12, Social Responsibility and communion, Community Citizenship. Social responsibility is an important part of the marketing concept, especially for banks, which provide a quasi-public service. Uh, banks are seen as a community resource and play a vital role in community development. A dollar of deposit can be recirculated within the community as a loan that is used to purchase a good from a local company, which then deposits the dollar to be ultimately recirculated in the form of another loan, this monetary cycle is critical to community growth and vitalization. They just said to loan out a dollar. So, um, just show you somewhat of the nightmare of how this whole thing works. You're there, you're saved, you're born again, and you work really hard. And you have $10,000 in the bank. Just coming up with a number. And your Lord's given me this $10,000. It's amazing. And praise the Lord, I have $10,000. What you don't realize is, all of a sudden you hear that there's a new strip club coming into the town there. Where did they get the money? I don't understand. How could they get the money? They didn't get $10,000. They're not working hard for their money and whatever. Where did that come from? Well, the bank gave them a loan. Uh, you say, why would the bank give them a loan? Well, yeah, I don't know, but um, it's you know for the community. But here's the problem. The bank loaned out your money. You see, if you keep all of your money in the bank, the bank just says, hey, who wants it? You work hard and you come in there and you put your money into the bank and the bank says, oh, thank you so much. Now, who else wants this money? We'll make other people get rich off of your deposits. Ooh. Hmm. Um, isn't that stealing? If you get rich from other people's money, isn't that theft? Uh-huh. We well, said, brother, I don't have a whole lot of money in the bank. Do you have a dollar? This says to loan it out to people to enrich the community. So the uh, local bar 
that uh, needs a little bit of extra money, they're going to get some of your money. The name it any the Masonic Lodge in town. They need a little bit of loan to get their uh, steps fixed or the roof fixed or whatever else. They're going to come to the bank and take out your money. What's my point? My point, brethren, is in your King James Bible, you read about Abraham. He's very wealthy in physical assets, gold, silver, precious stones, men servants, maid servants, livestock, things like that. He's got physical wealth, tangible things that he can hold on to. Oh, no, no, Abraham had a big bank account balance, and he was able to invest in the stock market, and he was able to get more money because he, you know, no, it didn't work that way. We are so far away from what the Bible teaches when it comes to finances. And so many Christians have all their money in the bank, and they don't even realize that they're, the bank is using their money, your money, to finance evil. Banks are evil. They simply are. Um, well, we have to have them in whatever. Well, we've gotten away from physical exchanges. We should be able to go physically pay bills with cash. It would be nice to not even have to have bank accounts, to be quite frank with you. I think that, that would be a good thing. And if there's a way that you can diminish your dependence on the banks, I would suggest that. that. But uh, having all your money in the bank, um, not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. You don't even know what you're funding with that. So just wanted to give you that little quote there. I could not believe it when my wife read that to me. I, yeah, I remember she was flipping through it. She saw that highlighted portion and she read that to me and I said, huh? What? No, no. Uh, let me see the quote. And she showed it to me and I thought, I thought G. Edward Griffin was exaggerating. <laughs> Saying about that the banker gets a dollar in and they want to lend it. And I thought, no, they, they wouldn't do it. American Banking Association. Um, and again, don't lie about me and say, uh, Brother Brian's teaching you're going to hell if you put your money in the bank. Uh, then I'd be condemning myself. I have money in the bank but I don't have much money in the bank, all right? I understand the challenges and everything else, well, the way we live, but we're supposed to hinder the system of Antichrist. And the system of Antichrist ultimately is going to go towards a digital currency, one that you can't take out of the bank. Hmm. You're forced to have it in there, and the bank will know exactly what you're spending your money on. And we're very close to that right now. We have to fight this system. I hope I've challenged you with this video.